Shalom and good morning, praise the Lord. And this is July 1st, the first day of the seventh month. And the time alone with God, the diary has a wonderful word for you and me today. It's not by chance the word come uh, in the kingdom of God. There is uh, no uh, uh, accidental or coincidence. It is planned and preordained by our Lord. So uh, welcome July. Welcome to Prosperous Life. Welcome Jesus Christ. So the word today, the word today uh, is from Proverbs 10.22. And uh, this is one of my favorite, one of my favorite, you know, the whole Bible is my favorite. And the Bible does not talk about any religion. Um, it is unfortunate, it is unfortunate that uh, we have made this a religion. Jesus never established any religion. And in religion, there are works. He did not ask us to do any work, meaning to please God. God is already pleased with you in Christ Jesus. So religion demands work. But Jesus says, I have already done it for you. And however best you try, you cannot please God. He will find one fault. At, but... Through Christ, you become faultless, sanctified is the word, by the blood of Jesus, once for all. So today, the word is from uh, Proverbs 10.22, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. What a wonderful word. Uh, some people... Uh, say that I talk about uh, prosperity. Uh, what to do? Uh, the God whom I love, there is no poverty gospel, no helpless gospel. When I am a child of God in the rightful manner through the blood of Jesus, how can I think of poverty when I live in a house of God? which is all surplus. You remember that son, the second son whom we call prodigal. He went out of the house, became poor. He didn't have anything to eat. And he said, in my father's house, even the servants eat and there is plenty. He came to census. When he came to census, he thought like that. When we go out of the fellowship, when we go out of the Father's house, when we go out where God has planted us, and this is very important. I unfortunately, again, I have heard pastors say, why don't you come once a while to our fellowship? My dear, there's a spiritual father. There's a church that Jesus, everyone who is saved is added to a church. God has added to a church, a saved church. You are not the one to decide, oh, my pastor said this, so I'm going, leaving the church. You are leaving your prosperity. If Elia was asked to go and sit at the brook of Kerith, the crow will bring the food over there. And if Elia thinks... Ah, it's too hot. I'm going to sit over there. The food, the crow was commanded to drop the food at the place. Your blessing is where God has added you, where you were saved. Don't run here and there and then blame God for why things are not happening. Be faithful to your calling. Be faithful to your selection. Be faithful to your church. Many people say, Oh, I'm, I love Jesus. I am faithful to Jesus. My dear, the book of Ephesians says, I have heard your faith in Jesus and love for the saints. Your faith 
in Jesus is reflected to your co-believers and especially the pastor whom who is mentoring you who has led you to Christ so if any pastor tells you why don't you come once a while and join our church tell them i have a family and your father spiritual father the pastor who has led you to Christ will get angry with you because he is your father might get angry with you might uh, not smile at you i don't smile at my children always but the neighbor will because he is not the father and he doesn't have the pain as a spiritual father i have a pain if any one of our church members are hurt so what what responsibility does a pastor have who has not given birth to you so that is where it is a kingdom principle kingdom law the word cannot change whatever the word has promised it will happen and the bible says the blessing of the lord makes you rich and does not add sorrow we are already blessed not that we are going to be blessed we are already blessed father god has already blessed us in christ jesus in spiritual place ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3 so in your mind you might think it is just spiritual my dear in the spiritual is the natural also if you are faithful to the laws of the kingdom of god you will be amazed how his grace will abound upon you and his ability will work through you to have all sufficiency in all things always now the word is blessing we are blessed can you say i am blessed and blessing and curse both are in your speech your tongue as you speak so bless your family bless your children bless all your work and you will see the change in every area of your life now the word is blessing of the lord makes you rich adds no labor towards it so the blessing of the lord makes you rich does not mean you have to be lazy don't think that rupees will fall dollars will rain in your house there is no money making machine in heaven you have to work for it you have to work for it you cannot be lazy laziness will bring poverty into your house without your knowledge you will think it's fine and faith does not mean lack of wisdom many christians just issue checks by faith start building a house by faith no jesus said before building a tower calculate the cost how you are going to do it have a plan we all plan our vacation and holidays if you are planning to go to uh, uh, a hill station or outside for a week you plan so much why not plan your life which is more important and in the planning of life three things are very important family faith and finance i have a faith family finance conference and i all the three of all the three fa- uh, finance is very important because lack of finance can destroy the family can destroy the faith so blessing of the lord makes us rich how does he make us rich he gives you an idea he gives you a plan and adds no labor meaning to say you remember uh, the word is toiling labor means as a woman gives birth to a woman gives birth to a child she labors in the toils so there is no toiling in it you too will do the same thing as your neighbor is doing but yours will prosper more and there will be no unnecessary expenses so you will have good savings if you plan well 
Kingdom finance is a large topic and uh, uh, it is not here say I have enjoyed it and still enjoying it. You remember Peter when he came to Jesus he, and he came and said I have toiled the whole night. Toiled the whole night. But I did not get anything. And the king, king of kings, Lord of Lords Jesus got into the boat and said, let us go to the deep. Peter, the fisherman, had his doubts. He says, uh, in the daytime, there are no fishes. But at your word, I will do it. At your word, this word, if you walk in the word, you will lack nothing in your life. Psalms 35, 27, the word says, the Lord loves his servants to prosper. And mind prospers, every area of your life will prosper. He got, as he obeyed, okay, there was some, uh, people don't look into the Facebook and keep calling. And that spoils the network. So to, from tomorrow, I'll do something more. Anyhow, and uh, when Peter obeyed Jesus and went into the sea, contrary to what he had thought, blessing of the Lord, he had to take the boat, had to take the net. The fish did not swim to the shore and jump into the boat. He too had to do as the other fishermen did, went into the deep. And he was amazed at the catch. And that is what is supernatural abundance in the kingdom of God, which God willing, I will teach. So July 1st, wonderful word. Let this whole month be full of blessing and prosperity and of good health. Let us pray. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Everyone who is watching me, everyone who is watching me, I pray that you will stretch forth your hand, heal the sick bodies. Someone with a, uh, a problem behind the right ear, I don't know, it is a, a, a lump or a severe pain behind the right ear and the skull area is being healed right now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Someone uh, with an eye allergy, in the name of Jesus, is being healed by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Father, stretch forth your hand. You have paid the price for the blessing. You had paid the price for the blessing. And in the blessing is good health. And healing is a provision. I pray for those who are going through financial issues. That you will give them an idea, you will give them a plan and you will open doors that they have all abundance always, even to give. Thank you for this July 1st, the word that you have given on July 1st. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So, uh, see you again tomorrow. You have to help me by sending this to all your friends and asking them to subscribe that even at the uh, slightest um, every notification you will get because uh, i don't want anyone to miss the right dividing of the word that they know that they are blessed they are powerful who they are in christ jesus so god bless you see you again tomorrow look forward expecting a wonderful and great month God bless you.